Hey guys, I had a lot of questions on my Airs Drum videos on how I did the projection mapping. Now if you don't know what I'm on about, click on the annotation up there to go and see uh, the videos I did. Basically it was while projecting onto areas of uh, strips of material and project not projecting into the gaps, so it's basically controlling the area uh, of which I was projecting onto. Uh, but a lot of people asked how I did it and what software I used and things, so I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm using a piece of software called Resolume Arena 4. Now this is quite an expensive software, but projection mapping is quite an expensive thing to do. So let me just quickly show you, very simply, how you can set up projection mapping. So this is the main window of Resolume Arena 4. Now, I'm just going to start off in advance saying I apologise for any uh, video lag or any judderiness in the video, because this computer here is having to do the screen capture, but it's also having to run all of the video that you're about to see. So first of all, we've got our three layers of video here. I'm not going to go into much detail in the software because there are so many different details you can go into. I'm just it'll take me hours to do. So we've got lots of different built-in ones here. You can see, and you can basically mix video layers here. So you can run lots of video layers on top of each other, uh, like that. So to go and do our projection mapping, we need to go into the output option. Select which display we're going to put it output on. Now I would do it here uh, as a. It'll be come up as a. When I've plugged in the projector, it will come up as an extra output on here, and I select that as the full screen output. And then what I'm going to do is hit Show Test Card, which is going to put the test card up, which is, makes it much easier for organising your composition. Then we go into Advanced here, and we're into the actual setup here. So we want to get rid of all of our slices here. This is just stuff I had set up previous that I haven't got rid of in this video. So what we can do is we're going to add a slice to this screen. So this slice is basically the area of the composition that you're going to project. So this isn't where it's going to be projecting onto, this is cutting the video out of the original video. So say I've got this quarter here. This quarter of the video is filled up with what I want to project onto one particular area. So I'm going to drag the corners and highlight the area of video I want to get. Now what we do is we hit Output Transformation and select that slice. So here we've got slice 2 and then what we can do is we can drag the corners uh, onto where we want to project them. So for this you would have uh, the projector projecting the full screen of what that you're actually seeing here so you just look up at the projector and you drag these points onto the area you want to project onto so if you're projecting onto a 3D surface you can drag the corners and keystone it very accurately to fit like so and then we can go back here and we can add loads of different slices we can add basically as many slices as we want I don't know what the limit is exactly but it means you can do very very detailed projection mapping now it's quite complicated to do and it is very complicated to make it look right uh, and it's quite complicated to set up but there's a basic, very basic look at how to do it. So as I was saying we've got lots of other things up here, we've got uh, different levels of RGB here we can adjust, we've got brightness, contrast, we can also show a grid on the video and then we've got oh, point options, we can basically add points onto the video, I'm basically pressing buttons here. So we can add points and we can manipulate the video much further, say if you're projecting onto a curved surface. So you can add even more points and get even more detail with the area you're going to project onto. So basically software is very flexible for if you want to project onto 3D surfaces. So there you go, that's some really, really simple projection mapping. Uh, the software I use, you can get a trial, link will be in the description below, but as I said earlier, it's quite expensive to buy the software. So there you go, hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.